Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just curious, uh, how many of you out there have more than one computer at home? Just more than one. I don't care how many computers, just more than one. If you do, then you may be on a home network. And of course, the more computers or devices you bring into your home, uh, the more need you're going to have for finding really good tools, both hardware and software, to help you manage those particular machines. The router or the device that uh, kind of splits uh, the internet connection or routes packets of information back and forth between those devices uh, may be a good one, but it may not be completely complete. Now, let me uh, tell you where I'm going with this. Uh, I had a need uh, to discover my wife, Ponzi, her email, or her email, I know her email, duh, her IP address, uh, her local IP address, or the IP address that her machine was signed according to my router. And uh, so I could connect to her machine uh, using VNC. We've talked about VNC, we've talked about IP addresses, we've talked about this kind of stuff before. Uh, but I needed a way to discover it easily. And, you know, there are some tools in Windows, but they're kind of kludgy. And I kind of threw it out there. I said, well, what tool should I use? And Wireless Packet, uh, being the uh, geek that he is, recommended a tool from Soft Perfect. Now, this is a free tool. It works on Windows. I haven't found an equivalent on OS X, but I'd be interested in finding out whether there is an equivalent on OS X. You basically input the IP range from one to the other, and then press start scanning. I press the button, it lists out all the IP addresses on my network, then if there's a host name associated with it, it lists that out, lists out the MAC address, the response time, uh, and uh, we've talked about MAC addresses, so I'm not gonna go into that at, at this point. Uh, and again, what it will go through is listing uh, the information I'm looking for from the machines on my network, nice, quick, simple, uh, and I find what I need. There's her machine, Socrates, and her IP address, 10.1.10.10. Now from there, I could click and cascade down to see her network shares, the folder she's sharing, or I could right click her IP address, uh, and I've got options from there, opening a computer uh, as web, as a file server, telnet, now that's assuming that those services are turned on and I have the ability to get in there, or, this is what I really like, copying the IP address, host name, MAC address. Uh, I can get a properties. Uh, I can do a remote shutdown so long as that service is enabled. But what I was looking for primarily is copying the IP address. So now I know that her machine, at least at this point, has that particular IP address. It's a great troubleshooting tool. It's a great way of getting um, the topology, in a basic sense, of your local, uh, at least in this capacity, this network or this leg of the network. Because again, you can choose any IP range uh, from one to the other and scan it entirely to find out what is available. So I suppose this could be used for nefarious purposes, but I'm hoping that won't be the case. You can then go through and filter by uh, host name, by open ports, by shared folders. You can expand all, collapse all, you can do a find. So depending on how big your network is, you know, this tool may be more useful. But even with just a handful of machines on my network, um, you know, if I'm looking for one over the other, this has been pretty nice for me. Now I can tell you that uh, since running it or since installing this uh, home network, uh, the new one uh, routing through uh, my uh, Apple Airport, her local IP address has pretty much stayed the same, 10.1.10.10. Uh, .10. But I can tell you too that my Mac Mini, which is the computer that's currently running the live stream that you're watching, well at least 100 or so people are watching right now, is ISIS, and that is at 10.1.10.194. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never that that's it's too difficult to remember. I, I you know it's so I can run this. I can get to it easy. easy. I, you know it's just another good home networking tool. And this is where I, I'm I'm now going with this. Do you know of any other home networking tools, preferably free? We're talking about home networks, things that uh, we all pretty much most of us I think deal with. Not all, uh, but if we're not all dealing with it, well then at some point in the future we will be dealing with it because I think the idea of having one computer for the entire family to share uh, mildly antiquated oh, and speaking of mildly antiquated not related in any way whatsoever but I've heard that uh, there are some computer electronics general superstores uh, are no longer selling analog TVs 
So it's just a matter of time before everything goes digital. It's just a matter of time before having a home network is assumed. So looking for any kind of tool on any kind of platform, make your recommendations, either leave a follow-up remark or comment, or email me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. And we're typically helping people. Uh, even if I'm not here, other people are. And I, I got to tell you about another resource too, uh, a, a set of forums uh, that uh, have been around for quite a while, help.lockernome.com. And plenty of people in there ready to help. And usually, of course, I think the political forum is uh, the most active forum over there, but that, that kind of goes without saying. Uh, but we, we are typically talking tech. Uh, in the chat room, which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as is most of the internet, but we are specifically at one place on the internet, and that is at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.